to make the change. You know, every day that we wake up, that is an opportunity for us to change. You have to ask yourself, do I want to be a light or do I want to be a parasite? Ask yourself, do I want to be a light or do I want to be a parasite? Right? A parasite is something that sucks the blood out of people. Literally, like, it's toxic. It's like a leech. It's not good for your body. It's unhealthy. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's, a parasite's not good. You want to be the light. You want to be the light. Choose to be a light and not a parasite. Choose to be a light and not a parasite. And it's not too late to change. If there's something in your life that you're not happy with, pray and ask God how to fix it, how to change it, how to be the best version of you. If there's certain things that you don't like or people you don't like, don't watch them. Don't look at them, don't watch them, don't study them, don't stop them, don't obsess with them, nothing. When you are light and you see someone else who is of light, you both can be bright together. Their brightness, it's like their brightness helps your brightness. You see what I'm saying? Their brightness helps your brightness. Your brightness helps their brightness. But when you're a parasite, it's almost like you're trying to dim their light. Or you're trying to feed off their light. You don't want to feed off nobody's light. You want to have your own light. You want to have your own light. How do you have your own light? Make changes in your life. Take accountability for the things that you're not happy about. Take accountability for your hurt. The things that you're not doing that you know you're supposed to be doing. The way you feel about people. The, way you, the things that you say. The things that you do behind closed doors. The things that you do behind closed doors, take accountability for that. Take accountability for that. If you have to make multiple accounts to stop people, you have a martyr spirit. You have a martyr spirit. If you've already been blocked, and you have to create a whole new account to, to monitor them, to stop them. That is obsession. That is someone that's not well in the mind. And that means you have a monitor spirit. That means you need deliverance. If it's someone that you don't like, you're gonna keep hurting yourself. If it's someone that you hate, that you don't like, and they're doing good, you're gonna keep hurting yourself. The more and more you see them, you're gonna see them glowing. You're gonna see them doing good, and you're only gonna antagonize yourself. You're only going to antagonize yourself. That's not how you grow. That's not how you heal. If you want to change and you want to, you know, God to heal you, you want God to help you get to a better place in your life, you got to take accountability and be like, you know what? What I'm doing is not healthy. It's not healthy. There's no reason why you should have five or six different accounts just to stop that one person. There's no reason why you should spend time out of your day to create a whole new Google account just to be able to write something negative to someone. That means you're a parasite, you're not a light. You don't wanna be a parasite. Parasites don't win. They wither away in the sun. You wanna be light, you wanna be that sun, you wanna be the light, right? Well, I can't tell you what you wanna be. You have to choose to want to do better for yourself so you can achieve better for yourself, right? So instead of watching the people who God is blessing, who are elevating and tormenting yourself by doing that. Use that time wisely. Spend time with God. Heal. Get into the word. Get into the face of the Lord. Be like, God, what do I need to change about myself? What am I doing wrong? What do I need to change in, within myself so I can be the best version of myself? So I can be a better person? So I can walk in my calling, my purpose? See, the problem is so many people are so worried about someone else's walk, someone else's calling, someone else's purpose, to the point where they either lost sight of theirs or they never even were able to have a glimpse of theirs in the first place. When God reveals your purpose, he reveals it to you once you start really taking your walk with him seriously and you start actually doing the inner work and you start working on yourself, you start working on your heart. All of that takes accountability. And as long as you continue to have pride, 
you're gonna always be a parasite. 